Greetings everyone, Lonely Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Saturday, June the 25th, and this is the Massey Ferguson 5400 series. <clears throat> it is a pack of six Massey Ferguson small tractors for all platforms. This is by AMG Gaming uh, and Bullet Bill, 45.04 megabytes to download. There are 18 slots each on, on console. Exactly 18 slots each for each of these tractors. <clears throat> now, this is quite the package of tractors. I don't think I've seen something like this for quite some time. Um, these are smart little tractors. And the, the amount of um, options is massive. Uh, first of all, Let's find them in small tractors. Now, <clears throat> this is literally six different tractors, all the way from the 5400, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen, uh, then the 5400 small frame, Gen 1, 2, and the large frame, Gen 1 and Gen 2. So, as far as I can tell, they all have the same options except for uh, engine options and maybe the odd tire option <clears throat> but so let's just skip ahead um, now one thing to note uh, it says uh, 96 to 155 horsepower that's that's not correct down there at the bottom uh, these are 125 horsepower uh, these are 135 155 and the biggest one the one the 5400 is up to 160 horsepower <clears throat> so we'll probably go through that i want to go through the options first because it is extensive <clears throat> configuration package now this is interesting because you start with a basic tractor which has basic kind of basic options and then you have preset options. Use tractor one, which you can just basically, it's a preset. And uh, you can add, uh, you can change the tires. Right? All the tire, op the tire options are going to be the same. Then you got use tractor two, which is preset two. And basically it adds uh, various options for its preset if you just want to go in there grab a tractor it's like so so notice the horsepower this is the 96 horsepower version a preset version this one's 110 horsepower preset version and preset number three is 125 horsepower version <clears throat> with all the options added already at 36,000, and then you can add tires now now we go into the other options black beauty Silver Special, 50-year edition, municipal edition, premium tractor, and then back to the basic. So the difference between the basic and the premium, basic, you still get quite a few options. But the premium, <clears throat> you also get the color options. And I think that's the only difference between the premium and the basic. Uh, an extra fifty dollars for the premium. No, no, fit, no extra dollars for the premium edition. <clears throat> so, wheel brands: BKT, Verdestine, Nokian, Trailerberg, Michelin, Tire, Continental, Midas, and Back to Me. Let's start with Trailerberg because Trailerberg has the most interesting, or the most options. And we'll go through this, and like I said, I do believe these are the same for each model. Small, wide, extra wide, flotation tire, which is extra, extra, extra wide, rear twins, twins all around, which is nice on a small tractor, and then narrows, uh, narrow tire two, it's a different rim style, and twin narrows on the rear with the narrows, uh, so no, and but no twins all around for narrows. <laughs> but I do like that. That's smart looking. Right. So, in Michelin, you get the same options. Uh, except you do get a communal, which is odd, uh, not odd, but interesting. 
<clears throat> Continental, no narrows. Midas, just basically the wide uh, and extra wide. BKT, uh, everything but the narrows. Vertistain, uh, you do get, oh, you get some big chunky flotation tires. And you get uh, no narrows. No kin is just communal. And back to trailer boards. So, yeah, I like those. I like those. <clears throat> Now you can get uh, you can have uh, the choice of the 50th anniversary or 50th edition uh, on any of them just by clicking that on and off. Roof option standard uh, or a sunroof type sunroof standard with mirror. So that's a mirror inside and a Vizio roof with mirror or nothing. <clears throat> Beacons no left right and both. Work lights. You get the halogen, halogen roof, roof lights. I think that's yeah, yeah. There we go. You got to have the extra standard roof on there if you want the extra roof lights. Uh, front lights, rear, front and basically front and rear, or LED roof, front front and rear LED. So there's your choices. I'd go with the LED for sure. Uh, narrow fenders or wide. That's at the back. Mud guards means front fender or no front fender. Oh, or rear front rear or front and rear. So the rear has the mud guard. The front is just basically a fender. GPS that does nothing. <clears throat> now weights. Zero. You get 180 front, 360, 540. Then it goes kind of down to in the in between weights 220, 440, 660. Three point, three point with 170 kilogram weight, or three point with a PTO. Ooh, even the weights have lots of options. Uh, and then you have front loader, of course. Front loader, yes, or uh, Hauer or Quickie. Engine. The 86 horsepower, 96, 110, or 125. That's for this, uh, this the, the steep bonnet Gen 1, the smallest one. And you also have this area option, if you like. And then body color. We got old paint. Black. Silver. Oh, sorry. Silver, uh, white, the municipal, a matte red, which looks kind of weird, but cool. And of course the chrome red, oh my. <clears throat> uh, then the mesh color is the actually grill color, front mesh color, yeah. Silver and the side mesh color. You have all the different, all the, the same choices as you did with the vehicle, so you can matchy match if you want. And then, of course, rim color. You got the silver, white, dark gray, black, chrome, or a gunmetal gray, which is like a dark chrome. And then your license plate. So that is a tremendous amount of options. <clears throat> Um, and like I said, will these are these have exactly the same options, and the engine setup for the uh, this one is up to 125 horsepower. The small frame one, if we go down to the horsepower, uh, you go from 86 to 96, 110, 125, 135. The small frame two goes up to a hundred and so it goes from 86, 96, 110, 125, 135, 145, 155. <clears throat> uh, this one again it starts at, uh, where does it start at? Okay, yeah, starts at 150 or 155. So you got two choices in that one. <clears throat> oh, by the way, they go 100, 
or they go tw they all go 24 miles per hour <laughs> got that detail <clears throat> and finally the big daddy starts at 150 or goes to 160 so 150 or 160 horsepower uh, with the Dyna 4 16 by 16 power shift transmission that that they all have Ooh, right so I have uh, this big one kind of tricked out with a few things lights beacons start it up we have some lights in the dash tachometer works uh, there are no other uh, really other options L1 R1 L1 and R1 you get toggle to cruise control and turn on the crop sensor if you have it installed <clears throat> So, yeah, um, very impressive. Now, of course, um, I have them uh, all doing something out in the field. So let's uh, let's jump in to our first victim, and that would be this guy. This is, of course, the smallest one. We're going to start from. So just so you know we're going to start from the smallest and i have i have uh, installed the biggest engine on each one of them i'm going to start with the smallest and we're work our way up to the biggest uh <clears throat> in that order uh this is um 5455 with the, the 125 horsepower engine i have attached 120 what is it, 120 125 horsepower rated cedar <clears throat> <clears throat> and as I've been testing them, they have all performed uh, d excellently, if not overperformed. Uh, I think he's having a little bit. Uh, yeah, he's he's because I have him seeding over something I've already seeded. He's being a little bit. That's my mistake. There we go. <clears throat> Right, so no problem going up to the six miles an hour that this is rated for seven. Uh, he's he's being a little finicky because it's a seated. He was working fine before I started filming. Oh, now he's being facetious, but he was doing fine. I'll set him off over here. I was trying to be cute. There. He's happy now. <laughs> or is he? What's he doing? Oh, really? Is he going to start searching for gears now? I had him working away, and he was doing fine. And now... Right. Anyways, I have a uh, I have the the next one up at 125 horsepower, pulling this um, disc arrow, and as you can see, no problem there. I don't know what the problem with that other fellow is. He must have had too much coffee or something. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I got I've had all these things, not one problem with them, and that one seems to start to want to act up. But anyways, so there's that's this is the next one up. I've had some twin narrows on there, <clears throat> and uh, the disc hero. Now, is he doing? Is he better now? No, he's not better now. Um, so again, here's the next one up. This one is the 5460. I believe this one was up to 135 horsepower. Yes, because I got a 140 horsepower plow on it. <clears throat> And uh, he, he's right up to the nine miles per hour right away. No problem at all there. Um, this, the next one up again, with a subsoiler. And no problem again. No problem at all. And the worker was working it just as he should. And uh, th again, the next one up with something even more harder to pull 
think it's 160 horsepower uh, cultivator and uh, yep yeah, right up to the nine miles per hour now finally this fellow the hundred the biggest one 160 horsepower biggest weight on the front dual wheels all around and what am I pulling I am pulling uh, the cultivator this big boy rated at 320 horsepower cultivator what's he gonna do let's see shifting shifting Wow that is the operating speed of that cultivator nine miles per hour it is uh, pretty much double yeah it is double the uh, horsepower <clears throat> it's rated double the horsepower that this tractor is rated at tractors rated at 160 the plow is rated at 320 and mm, it wasn't hanging up in gears it wasn't um, acting funny uh, at least it wasn't when I was testing it out before as you can see here he's been doing this strip of land here without uh, any issues whatsoever and um, as we'll see here he's gonna turn around he's gonna stop place it down from a dead stop starts out in a gear and in the second then goes up to third uh, third range the power range and fourth power range <clears throat> and there we are at nine miles per hour revving pretty high but still he's holding steady at nine which is I don't know outstanding L really outstanding um, this this little tractor is well pulls well beyond uh, what it should and even despite having an automatic transmission it works very well I think some other botters might uh, might need to take note of this uh, how well uh, this transmission in this tractor works even pulling something way beyond uh, what it's designed for <clears throat> so and even dealing with the adversity of me piling a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of grass at the ends of the um uh, field uh, yeah so there you have it folks is he still having I don't know why this guy is having a problem that's a look see if we just start it and lower it ourselves <coughs> hmm yeah he's having a bit of a problem pulling that that's that's a little bit weird don't know why he's doing that now Huh. I don't like these cedars anyways, so I like this tractor. <laughs> and there you have it, everybody. That's the Massey Ferguson 5400 series by AMG Gaming and Bullet Bill 45.04 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. There are 18 slots each on console. I'm Lily Farm Guy, and remember... It's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.